Good morning, everyone. This is Sister Gloria, and I will be reading from the book of Revelations, chapter 20. And I'm going to start at the 11th verse. And it says, And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. And there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And who is, and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Amen to God's word. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father God is preparing his people for his soon coming. Our Father is long-suffering. He's patient. He's kind. He's given many of us chances to come to him before it's too late. But as Christians, he, he's also letting us know that everything is being recorded. We all have a book of life. We won't be able to say we didn't know. We won't be able to say nobody didn't tell us. Everything that we say has been written down. And in the word, Matthews 12 and uh, 36 and 37 says that we're going to be justified by our words or either we're going to be condemned by our words. Romans 2 and 16 says we will give an account for all the idle words that we speak. If we murder with our mouths, we lie on people, false uh, accusations, things that we, we call them little white lies, we're going to give an account for all those empty, vain words that we have spoken. But God has given us a space and time to repent of our sins and to get right. I know I have said this on many of my videos. And I know that God wants me to share this again. I did see books. I saw these two angels and they were very, very, very busy. They were so busy. They didn't even look at me. They were busy with these books and it was books. I mean, this room was full of books. Thank you, Jesus. And I, and I believe these were the books of life. And I just thank God for his mercy. Because I knew that if I had died on that day, I would not have made it. I would have died and went to hell. And many don't believe hell is a real place. But the Bible speaks of hell more than it does heaven. Many have died and gone to hell. We cannot put anybody in heaven when they live a life that is displeasing in the sight of God. We have to live to please the Lord. We have to live the word of God. There are 10 commandments and we, we have to abide by the law. If we have to abide by the law here in the earth, we have to abide by the law in heaven. We have to do what is pleasing to the Lord in order to enter into his kingdom. For God said no sin will enter into his kingdom. And I want to say to you that are coming to Christ 
You've never given your life to him. This is not based on what you look like on the outside. God is looking at our hearts. Just come to Christ. Come with your green hair, your purple hair. Come with your with, with all your flaws. If you gay, if you're homosexual, if you're a lesbian, if you if you are an adulterer, whatever you are doing, and you know that it will not get you into the gates of heaven. Still come, come to Christ. God will will work out that other stuff. Thank you, Jesus. We as the body of Christ, Lord, my prayer is that we represent you well, that we represent Christ before our loved ones, before our co-workers, because people are examining us. They are watching us. They're watching our every move. And as, as, as Christians, we have to live a Christ, we have to live Christ-like. We, we, we have to imitate Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. This ain't no joke. And, 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 and I've, I've heard where people say, I'm not, I'm not going to church because people are playing in church. And that may be true. It, and it is true. Everybody that go to church don't mean business with God. But that does not give you an excuse to not fellowship with other believers. We're not to forsake the assembling of ourselves um, from our other sisters and brothers in Christ because you draw strength. You get stronger when you are around other believers. You can grow. You cannot grow when you're just, you know, you, you're doing it solo, you're on your own. You you need to be around other um, Christians. And, and yes, it is true. Everybody don't mean Christ, but God has a remnant of people. He has a, a group of people that that are that are going to be snatched out of the, out of out of out of this earth. And when and when we leave. We think it's bad now, but when the saints leave this earth, all hell, I think everything in hell is, I think everything in hell is going to come to this earth. We think that there's lawlessness now. It's really going to be lawlessness. I, I heard a, a man preaching and he said that to be a police officer when the saints are taken off the earth, it would it's not going to be good for them. So a lot of these police officers are going to be taken off their uniform because of the lawlessness, because of the disrespect. Yes, we do have bad police and we have good police, but when 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 Jesus takes his, when Jesus come and pick us up, y'all, and we and, and we leave this world, all hell going to break loose. Because the saints are gone. And when this man was preaching, he said, the only reason why everything ain't, ain't as bad as it could be is because the body of Christ is still here in the earth, y'all. Time is winding up. And God is giving people a chance to come into the ark of safety before it's too late. If you plan church, it's time to stop playing church. It's time to come all the way in. Because for no man knows the day nor the hour of the coming of our, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But we know, y'all, we know he coming. We have all the signs here in the earth that Jesus is coming. He is coming to get us, y'all. We getting up out of here. We're going home to be with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And, and for you, if you're sick in your body, to be absent from the Lord, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. If you've given your life to Christ, and even if you do die, at least you're going to heaven. You don't have to die and go to hell. A lot of people that are in hell right now, they heard the word. 
They heard the word. They had a chance, but they forfeited their chance. They they took a chance on, you know, living in this world. Sometimes we get caught up in the cares of this world, and it, and it get us uh, away from um, coming to Christ. And then those of us that are in Christ, you know, we, we, we're we saved. But sometimes the world begins to look good to us, and then we, we turn off and we we go the other way. But this is not the time to go the other way because there's no guarantee that you're going to be able to get back into the ark of safety. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you, God, for your mercy and your kindness, Lord God. Father, please forgive us, Lord. Forgive us of all of our sins, Lord. Forgive us, Lord God, for speaking idle words, empty words. Forgive us for murdering people with our tongues. Lord, forgive us, Lord. Lord, help us to love one another in the name of Jesus. Help us to love our enemies. Help us to pray for them. Lord, help us to do what you have commanded us to do in the earth before our time expires. Help us, God. We need your help. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Help us to shun the very appearance of evil. Lord, help us to resist. No, help us, God, to submit ourselves, therefore, unto God and to resist the devil. And he got to go. Lord, give us the, the will. Give us the power to say no to say no to sin, to say no to the enemy. Lord, help us that we don't be instruments in his hands, that we don't allow him to use us. We need your help, God. Lord, without you, Lord, we are nothing. Lord, we know that one day we're going to stand before you and we're going to have to give an account of everything we've done and said. Lord, those our thoughts, God, God know everything about us, y'all. He know everything. Lord, please forgive us, Lord. Lord, help us, God. Help us, God. Help us, Lord, that are weak. Lord, those that have become weary and well-doing. Those that, that, that you, don't, you don't see no way out. But God is our way out. Lord, help us to continue to walk uh, in, in, in your statutes, in your laws, in your commandments. Help us to stay on the straight and narrow path in the name of Jesus, Lord. Help us to continuously, Lord God, resist and resist and resist the devil. Y'all, the enemy is throwing out all kinds of stuff to get us uh, off track. Lord, help us to say no. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray, God, that you will have your way, God. We pray for those, God, that will come. Lord, they don't know you in the part of their sins, God. Those that will come and they'll listen to this video. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that they will give their lives to you. For you that, that are coming and, and you don't know Jesus in the part of your sins. And you want to give your life to Christ. Right now, all you have to do is ask God to forgive you. Ask him to forgive you of your sins. Repent and turn from your wicked ways. Believe in what Jesus did for you on the cross. Yeah, confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is alive. He is not dead. He's very much alive. Lord, have mercy. God, we thank you for your mercy and your kindness. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord, God, that there be no retaliation, no revenge, God, against your people, Lord. Lord, help us to continue to walk, 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 walk the, the walk the good walk of faith. The, the Lord, help us to, to to stay in Your perfect will, God, in the name of Jesus, to fight the good fight of faith, yeah, and to lay hold on eternal life. Lord, help us to hold to the horns of the altar. Lord, help us not to let You go in the name of Jesus. For God said, "I'll never leave you nor forsake you." He said. He'll be with us to the end, y'all. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. If he said it, he going to do it. If he said it, he going to make it good. That's the kind of God we serve. He's the true and living God. He's the God that 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 that's still healing. The God that's bringing deliverance. The God that that died for our sins. Who came down here? Who knew no sin? He was a king. In heaven, he didn't have to come down here, but he did. He came down here to die for our sins. You, you, all you have to do is receive him on today. 
receive him on today. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we pray that no one will, that that's listening to this message, Lord, that no one will um, reject you. Lord, I pray, God, that their hearts will be um, receptive, God, that they will receive you on today. That they won't have to die only to find out, God, that you were, that you were, that you were real, God. Or only that they died and then they found out that hell was was a real place, but now they can't repent. Now that they're going to be out of your presence forever. Lord, thank you so much, God, for loving us. Thank you for keeping us in our right minds. Lord, thank you for healing those, God, that are sick in their bodies. Thank you for cancers dying in the name of Jesus, Lord. We we come against diabetes in the name of Jesus and all the effects of it. We come against the loss of limbs and, and blood clots and aneurysms, heart attacks and strokes, clogged arteries. We bind in Jesus' name. Oh, God, thank you so much, God. Thank you for being a loving and a kind God, long-suffering toward us, Lord, patient toward us, Lord, not giving us what we deserve, God. Lord, help us, God, to come, to come. Come on in, y'all. Come. Come before it's too late. Yeah, it's the job of the enemy to fool us. He, he, he brings all kinds of suggestions to us, but we don't have to receive them. Lord, the only way, y'all, we can win this battle is through the word of God. It's through trusting God. It's through being obedient and doing what God has commanded us to do. We all have a purpose here in the earth. We have to love one another. Yes, we got to love our enemies. We got to do it just like the word of God said. Yeah, we got to love them. God said we got to Give them something to drink if they're thirsty. Give them something to eat if they're hungry. If we can help them get to the clothe them, we got to do it. We got to do it just like God say, y'all, if we want to make it in. We can't go into heaven uh, doing what we want to do. We got to go into heaven doing what God has commanded us to do. We take authority over witchcraft and sorcery. We bind all the attacks. We cancel the assignment of, of, of the devil. We cancel the assignment of his imps. Every fiery dart that has been sent out against the body of Christ. Lord, we're praying, God, for leaders. We're praying, God, that leaders will endure hardness as good soldiers, Lord. That they will continue to stay on the wall. And we're praying that the body of believers will continue to pray for the for those that are leading, that are leading us in, into the way that we should go. We're praying, God, that we won't forget to keep our leaders lifted up in prayer. Because if the leader, if the head is weak, the whole body is weak. If the head get knocked down, the, the body get knocked down. That's in the natural and in the spirit. Father, we thank you right now, God. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for what you already have done in us, God. Thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost residing in us, God. Help us to walk in our authority in the name of Jesus, Lord. We pray, God, that we don't be afraid of the enemy because you did not give us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Thank you that our minds are sound on this morning in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor and praise God for you are worthy to be praised. God, I thank you, Lord, for those that are in need of jobs. Lord God, those that are in need of housing, those that need transportation. God, we thank you, Lord, for giving us the wisdom as how to get it. Lord, we, we, we think we need money sometimes, but sometimes, y'all, we need some wisdom. We need wisdom on how to get the things that we are in need of. Yes, we have asked God to do some things in our lives. Lord, help us to continue, Lord, to believe and to be grateful and thankful for what we have. Lord, that we continue, Lord, to pray that we don't uh, uh, give up in, in our prayers, Lord. In Jesus' name, and God, we pray for those, God, that are that are about to get married. 
Father, we are praying in the name of Jesus that your will be done. God, we thank and praise you, Lord, that they have heard from you, God, in Jesus' name. We come against the spirit of murder. We bind that spirit in Jesus' name, the spirit of division amongst the body of Christ. We bind that spirit in Jesus' name. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for unity, oneness, and harmony amongst the people of God. Lord, help us that we don't bite and devour one another, lest we be consumed one of another in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you, God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord, for the fivefold ministry, the body of Christ, the elders, the bishops, Lord God. We're praying, God, that we'll come together, Lord praying one for the other that we may be healed. Lord, that we'll come together and go out and win souls to the body of Christ, that we'll snatch those, God, that are about to go off into eternal damnation. Oh God, that we that, that we ain't caught up in numbers and 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 trying to get a whole bunch of money. But God help us to be soul minded. That we be concerned for those God that are that are without God, that are without you, God. Lord help us, God. Help us, God, because ain't it just ain't, ain't ain't anything getting into heaven. He said, outside are the dogs, the sorcerers. They ain't getting in. Father, we pray for that one God that wants to come out of the occult, those that want to come out of witchcraft and sorcery, God. We're praying, God, that 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 they will allow you, God, to have your way in them in the name of Jesus, Lord. Forgive them, Lord. Forgive, forgive us all, God, for all the things that we have done, said, and thought, God. Forgive us, God. Forgive us, God, and thank you, Heavenly Father, for helping us to get on that straight and narrow path, God. Help us that we don't look to the left nor to the right, but, God, we keep our focus on you. We keep our minds on you in Jesus' name. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart, Lord, be acceptable in your sight. O oh, Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen.